Good evening everybody, today we are going to be doing a brand new video and today I'm going to do a build where every room in a Sims house is going to be only 3x3. Three three. So this is the house that we're going to be doing. I have just preemptively built like some of the outside areas so that we've already got the general build of the house sorted. But I'm going to obviously do all of the inside. I've also added a little porch here and then I've added two sections around the back that we can also decorate so that we've got some outside area but it's still sticking to that sort of 3x3 three three build build. So I do think this is going to be a bit of a challenge but I have been doing my 100 rooms builds at the minute and obviously that also includes 3x3 three three rooms so I'm hoping that that's given me the skills that I need in order to be able to do this challenge. I have also given it a one by like whatever hallway in each section as well just at the top and at the bottom so that it makes it a little bit easier for us to actually get to rooms so that the house should be playable. So let's crack on. I'm gonna start with our little porch over here as I like tend to like starting with the porch so I'm going to first pick a little base for whatever we want this bottom section to look like. I think I'll also probably include like a little fence as well. So I think I'm going to go with probably something that doesn't extend out too much because it looks a little bit strange otherwise. So I'm kind of thinking just something like this so that it kind of matches what we've already got. So I think I'm probably going to go with this one. And then I could add some stairs but in reality you don't really need it because it's only one like platform up and that makes it so that people can just walk across it anyway. Do you just want to be like a classic wooden port. I would prefer I think to go with like a lighter wood so it's similar to that one that we have on the upper part of the house. So I think this one matches quite quite well. There aren't a lot that are like perfect match but I think this one kind of works the best and I like that the planks are a little bit bigger as well. Then obviously we need our front door so I'm probably going to go again with like just a lot of different kind of shades of wood for this build but a bigger door would probably be a little bit better. Okay I quite like this one because I like the fact that it's got the wind windows in it which is kind of what I wanted from that other one and it still has that kind of modern touch to it but I think I'm going to change it up a little bit and we're going to go with a lighter wood colour because I think it suits the other lighter colours that we've got in there and then I want to add hmm, I need a mailbox so I've got to figure out where I want that and then obviously I think I want some plants as well right out the front and I might put like a little bench thing here problem is all the benches just look way too big I think I'm going to go with this one I think this one kind of looks smaller so we just get there then maybe put something on on the outside of the wall here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this sort of simple little like ornament thing. Then I was tempted to put like one of those things above the door, but I don't know whether it's going to go and look a little bit weird. Like, yeah, like something like this, but I don't know if it will work. Oh, we do have this thing that comes with the eco pack, and I think that looks really cool actually. It's a bit more industrial, but I think it like looks a little bit neater. It's really cute as well. It's kind of like unique compared to like a lot of the other ones that are in there. Okay, cool. I'm going to go with that, and then let's move on to the inside. Actually, do I want Want, like a little doormat that could be really cool i'm gonna put in a little doormat as well i want it to be like just quite a plain one though nothing there we go i just added in a little red one i feel like red or yellow is probably the best color i might actually go yellow because they've got a lot of yellow tones in that wood that we've got then we can move on to the inside so i've just added a bunch of lights in at the minute so that we have all of that in there obviously <laughs> like it is a really skinny stairway so this is more of like a little tiny build but i think i'm going to start with this room I guess may as well um also got to do the hallway but I think I'm going to start by adding in sort of like our doorways I guess to like the downstairs and maybe the upstairs as well some of these I am going to want to have like some arches so that it doesn't have like it has like a bit more space for you to be able to enter and I also haven't really planned out which rooms these are going to be but I think I want this room to be the kitchen I guess like this room could be the dining room so I could put an open archway there as well I was planning that maybe oh I don't actually know because I was thinking like one of them could also be stairs that led you up to the next rooms but I was planning on one of the back doors to be that so that being a dining room doesn't really make sense I guess this could be a dining room that does make more sense then this can be the stairway yeah to go upstairs I guess yeah stairs then I'll put an archway there I don't want too many archways but we'll go with that many then we need to put in doors I quite like these doors I think they're quite nice and I think it'll probably be a good idea to put our stairs in so we can actually work out how that's going to work so I think I was going to do it so that it was like a corner stairs because I think that might fit so I think I'll do these stairs I'm gonna actually put them outside a bit first so that I can then pull it round okay so my plan doesn't really work because if I have a look at it here it doesn't fit properly so I'm trying to work out if there is an alternative way that I can get this to work I think I might need to use like some platforms and stuff to get it to work so let's try that section this off and then raise up this bit so that it's like halfway I guess because my plan is that it comes in from this 
this side around and then down there so i guess my door needs to be more in the middle like this i'll keep raising this up a bit then i guess let's try and put the stairs in okay i have slightly managed to make it work but it only works i believe when we have it so that the their platform goes down a bit which is kind of annoying then let's have a fiddle around with some of the colors of like woods and things that i could have in this room or like wallpapers because obviously it's going to have to match with platforms that we've now added in there so i've added in the same one that we put for the patio out front and i feel like this also kind of matches but i'm not going to lie now i'm not a massive fan of like the actual stairs that we've picked it's just slightly different brown okay i like this one more so i'm going to go with this one then if i just pick a floor that is kind of similar i could actually go with the one that we did outside why does this kind of feel like this was like a very homemade house like someone's crafted this from their own hand this bit weirdly feels like a sauna as well which i don't know how it's managed to do that so i don't really know what i want to do with this weird bit over here i could have it as like a little walk-in wardrobe i think to be fair and i could use the same thing that we've got over here or it might actually be better it's smaller or i could use like this one rounded one instead i guess as well it could also be a door frame as opposed to like an actual door if it's like your own personal toilet i don't really know what i want to do with this part up here because it's so like random and doesn't really need to be there i wonder whether it might be better just actually to cut that off and then we could put a little roof or something on the other side let's do that and see how it looks because then it also gives us more windows i guess it, that we could put down in the other bit it does mess up my roof a little bit i don't really know what i'm gonna do there or or we make it as a little patio that you can go out onto it would be a very small patio but it's something it's more like a juliet balcony really isn't it i guess i could use the same like wooden things out here to make it look like it's more involved as well and then add in a little pillar that's cute okay that's that's good i like that that looks better okay cool let's go with that so this is more like the master bedroom now i think because you've got like this whole second section and a balcony so it makes a lot more sense then so i'm guessing that's that's gonna be like the master bedroom one of these will need to be a bathroom and then i guess you've got two additional bedrooms then downstairs we've obviously got our little area before you go outside so just like tools and maybe like some storage stuff you've got the kitchen dining room and living room so that's that's kind of the plan so now I'm going to go in and do our kitchen. I am excited for this one because I think tiny kitchens are absolutely adorable. I did put the archway just slightly more over the edge so that we had more room because I think my plan is to do cabinets all the way around the outside here in like a little L shape and then obviously you'd then have the entrance there. So I think I think I'm going to start off with the cabinets, then we can kind of go from there. I'm thinking like these cottage ones just because I think they go best with what sort of the colour palette and like style we've gone with at the minute. We don't actually have any green, so I don't know if adding green in would be good. But I'm going to do one there, one little corner one here. That's where we can put our oven and then another one here and the fridge on the other side. So I absolutely love these smeg fridges, so I'm definitely going to use that one here. And it goes perfectly with our colour palette as well. You do only end up with one actual counter to work on with all of this stuff but it's fine i'm gonna put um sink here and i'm gonna use the sink that actually comes with the set so i think that looks the best it also gives you like a really big fridge in such a small kitchen which is like a really, really big sink in a really small kitchen and i think that actually looks a little bit better i am gonna include cabinets as well just so that it gives you a bit more space like to be able to actually like store your stuff and i think i'm gonna do them here so that we can have an exhaust on this side then i'm also going to go with the oven that is from that pack as well and then obviously we want an so I'm going to try and find one that's, well, to be fair, I could just go with the one that's also in this pack, which is this one. It does kind of go, but I'm wondering whether there's a better one that is from that same pack. So we're not just sticking to stuff from the same thing. I think this one's quite cute and it includes green as well that we need with like the rest of the room. And it has a little bit of white on it, which also matches. Like, then I guess window wise, how do I want to do that? The only issue I have with this is that it's actually higher than our cabinets that we have. So I might lower them so that it kind of aligns, or I guess like raise them so they align i have to say i'm not the biggest fan of them being the same cabinet though so i might change one so that it's a different cabinet there we go now we've got two different cabinets so i think that does look a little bit better then obviously window wise i guess it'd be good to have one behind maybe like the sink here and then one behind here we'll see how that goes i might just end up putting one on this back wall oh this is actually really cute because it's more modern so if i went with this it's kind of like that good like modern slash footage vibe that we've kind of gone with with the rest of the like entire house then if i chose just like a nice wooden floor something like this might go but i think it might be better if it's darker yeah like this one works better i actually really like this kitchen i think the one thing i'm not enjoying is this top section up here i 
don't know why I don't like it. I think it needs it's too old fashioned. So I'm gonna change it. Like maybe even just like different cabinets would work better. As long as they're still like that old style. Like this is cute. I like this. It's got a tiny window in it. Or I could just do like all these like skinnier ones so it actually makes it feel bigger in the room. Then I think I prefer this actually to then the other one that we picked. I wish it was a little bit of a lighter brown, but we can't really change that that much. Then I'm gonna go ahead and look at I might add some curtains, but it depends on whether it completely bulks out the room or not. Oh, are these cute though? Those are cute. Oh, I love those. Okay, I'm including those. I'm going to have to shift the forwards a little bit so it's not like cutting into it. But I think that goes really well with the colour palette that we've got. We can get them in different colours as well. Is the green better? But does it link up with like the ones that picked here? I think it, the yellow is better because it matches the sink. Then obviously we've got the decorations for the room as well. So I have to keep this countertop clear. Otherwise this room will be completely unusable. So I'm just going to stack, I guess, some stuff in this corner here. We have these little pictures of keys, which I can put on the wall there and then I think somewhere yeah here we go there's like these cute little like cutlery things which I think it's like for salads isn't it so I'm gonna put those there because it matches like perfectly in that little square so I think that's it for that room and then let's move on to our next room which I think I also need like hallway and we haven't got a proper hallway so I'm gonna use the same flooring that we used for that other room I'm trying to work out which way is best I think uh, I don't know long ways or this this way feels more like a boat some reason we'll go that way that makes more sense and I'll change it in that other room and then thinking ahead for windows I'm thinking putting two big windows on either side here because then at least from the outside it looks like way more symmetrical this kind of works sort of what I was thinking something like this then I guess you could do the same upstairs what would be kind of cool is actually changing it so that it was something like this upstairs a different wood like this does that look cool I can't tell let's put them in and see how I feel I think that looks kind of cool I like that I might have to change the wood though I think orange you know what I kind of like that. I, d I know I said that I didn't want to do all of the like windows now, but now I'm kind of tempted to start adding them in just so that we've got the same windows around as well. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Then let's head back down into our living room, or I guess we're doing like the dining room next going to be this one. I guess it doesn't really matter which is which, but I guess it makes more sense to have the dining room closer. So for our dining room, I think it'd be good if we had like some obviously light wood or something, but I was thinking more something like this where it's like panelled just to make it like a little little bit more fancy. I could pick this one because we've gone with yellows and greens so far on the inside but I feel like it's a bit bright. I could do it with greens. That actually kind of works. I don't think having a green dining room is very nice. I'm gonna go with the yellow because I think it's a little bit more of a happier colour. Now obviously the issue here is we do not have a lot of space so I think I can have like one 4x4 table but I don't know if you can even get past. So it might be better to have the dining table here with chairs inside. Okay so re-looking at it I am not a fan of a few things so I don't like the table and I'm not a big fan of the wall paper so I think I'm going to change those I think I might actually change the entire color palette because I've just found this this wall here and I think this one looks way nicer than the last one so if I just change them to blue then how do I feel about it I've never had a blue dining room before I think maybe blue and a different color might work better maybe we did like blue and green okay this feels better I like this a lot more it's got that more of like a better hint of like new rather than like older and then I want a good like I don't even know what, what would you have like oh this is really cool okay this feels a lot more modern i think i'm gonna include that but i don't know if the big plant thing gets in the way of like whoever's sitting there well, and now i'm gonna just add some little bits on that i think might look good in this room oh i also found this thing which is like a knickknack corner thing and i think i'm gonna put that there because i think it just looks really good in the actual corner and it gives us a bit more storage on that side there we go so i just put some adult drinks on the top shelf i've put some little like tea kettle and coffee things on that one and then i've added a little incense burner and a plant and then i think finally i'm gonna add a plant to this corner maybe something to the top of this and then maybe a picture on this side there we go there's a little plant on that side and then if we have a look at this side of the room i guess like one little plant onto there might be good yeah that looks good and then maybe like a little picture up here this little like flower picture kind of goes really well i think i'll go with this one and i'll put it there how does that look yeah i like that cute little room okay if you're enjoying this video so far be sure to like share and subscribe so I think for this one, I'm going to look into our tiny living set. 
and I'm gonna see whether or not like the TV would work quite well here. I do have like another slight idea that could work with the TV, but I want to check these ones first because like this is the tiny living set, which I think they look like really cute. But I like a design that I've made before where you just put like storage all across it. I think I'm gonna use this one because I haven't used it yet, and then I can then put like a bookcase or something here. Quite like this bookcase, but I don't know if it because it does match the one that we've already got in there. Or we've got like this one that also matches it, and I think that one's quite nice as well. It's that slightly more like modern design that I think looks a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna change it all because the I've got an idea now that I kind of want to go with. So what I was thinking is that we can do one of these little like TV unit things like this, then obviously the TV on there, and then we can have more bits coming up here so it's sort of like surrounding the tv there you go so we sort of have this like crazy looking cabinet thing now that goes all the way around and obviously it's got this little space that we can then put a tv into and then we have like loads of storage across the whole thing so for the tv we could go with something like this but it is quite big i think this is a little bit of a better one it fits a bit better than the one that has speakers on it then i think it'd be good to add in our walls now that we've kind of got an idea of the different kinds of woods and like tv and thing we've got in there obviously we've got brown like a sorry we've got like green curtains so it would make sense to have like tones of green in there still i think that's good probably going to be a theme for the house is like greens and some yellows because i think they always kind of go up quite well with the like different wooden tones Ooh, okay so i just put this in and this is gorgeous i am definitely picking this for this room don't know if it looks a bit strange because it's got like nothing in this back section behind the tv though yeah i did find this thing which I think is supposed to be like hung up, but it oddly works really well as just being a backboard for this like TV. If I can like fit it in properly, it seems to fit pretty well behind it. So I'm going to use that. The only issue is it does have that little string there, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem once we start adding in the clutter. And I think for this room, it'd be really cute as well if we had a ceiling fan. So I'm just going to add in a small one. Then I think it needs a lot of plants. Just going to go ahead and add a bunch of plants into here, like on top of this part here and then maybe some in the little gaps as well. This room oddly feels like a little bit more adventure than a lot of the other rooms. I think it might be this back part and like the colour scheme that we've kind of used. It's a lot of like sort of more earth tony kind of colours. Then I think in the remaining bits clutter I'm gonna add some books and things as well because I did want it to be sort of like a bookshelf. Some little books on this little side table here. Then I guess here. Change the colour and then put some more here as well. Can't really see into these gap like super well so I probably can't really add a lot in there. They're like really small. I feel like that's probably okay, right? Can I fit? I can't either. Yeah, we'll probably leave it at that for the decorating of those shelves then. The only issue I always have with these is that they go straight up to the wall, which doesn't look that great, but I guess it does it on the other side too, so it's kind of symmetrical. Oh, this one's nice. I like the random little colourful like pillows it has. Pull it away from the curtain a little bit, and then we've got to add in a little side table. It's also got like under storage, which is always like really good in tiny build. I think I'm going to go with this lower down table just because it will then make the room feel a little bit bigger ra rather than like bringing it down a little bit. And then I'm probably going to just stick a little lamp on it or would this look good? Oh, that does kind of look good. I might use that. It's got like, it's not a lamp, but it's got like candles on it. This one might work. Hey, that looks kind of cool. I think I'll just use that instead. Let me like lower it a little bit. That looks quite good though. It matches the room as well. Okay, then the last thing that I want is a carpet because there is no way that we're having a hardwood living room without a carpet. I think like these carpets are always one of my favorite but they're very big so if we just did that oh yeah that's really nice okay perfect straight off the bat so i'm gonna go with those i don't want to change the light just because we have put this little fan in so we don't really need to so i think that's it for that room so we do also have this hallway and i kind of wanted to put like a little coat rack or something down near this bottom part so that it was a little bit more useful so what i think i'm gonna do hmm, i could just literally put that in there and that could kind of work i might do that and then put like this above it so that you've got a bit more storage to put things we do have like actual inbuilt coat racks i don't know if that'd be better or what i can do is i could use this over here my the lighter color might be better and this one hmm the problem is it's very big it'll just go into the wall regardless i can make them smaller okay i think i am gonna go with that color it looks a little bit better then i'm gonna see if making it smaller i can still add clothes to it because I'm worried that I won't be able to. I think that looks alright. It might get too cluttered otherwise. Okay, then we've got our weird little like, I don't even know where they are. I mean we've got this end corridor bit as well and I don't really know if we want to put anything in there. To be fair it would be good to have a little window but I don't know if it's going to mess up with the vibe of the house. Let's see if I can find one that matches like these ones. We do have this one that kind of matches
stretches. So I think I'm going to use this and just literally stick it there at the end. And then I don't really know if there's anything I could put at the end. I might just get a little plant. Like if I just stick this little guy here. Yeah, that's quite cute. He could actually be bigger. Make him a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, and then we've got our little bit here that lets you go outside. And obviously we've got a weird little hallway here where we have a tiny gap. So I can put stuff in there as well. I was thinking here we could do like a coat, like coat rack, but like a better one. One that will go like up against the wall, I think. I think that'll probably be better. So something like this, I think looks pretty good. So it's basically just like excess storage, I guess. And it's obviously you can put a coat on as you're going outside. And then on this wall, I was kind of thinking we could have stuff like this, because obviously it's got a little watering can on it. Then I think there's another one as well that works quite well that's kind of similar. Or we could also make this like a little laundry room. That could work. So what I could do, hmm, because I do like that, but we don't really need it. It might be better to have like a lawn section or like, it's just because this is so big. I guess I could make it smaller. I think we make this into a laundry room instead. So I'm going to get rid of that thing that we put down and we'll use this one, which I think looks really cool. Then obviously we have our washing machine and dryer. So I'm not going to use them stacked and we'll just grab a little brown version of each. I think this might look better actually pressed up against the wall here. Then if I get like, I guess some cleaning products and stuff, I could something up this side that I can then put the cleaning products. But I don't really think there's a lot else that I really want to add into this room i think i might add just like one little plant over here and then i think that's kind of it because it's quite a full room otherwise or like this is i love this thing i think it looks really good i might use this just in this corner it feels like a little bit more clean so it works a bit better for the kind of room that it is then i might change the light as well to be like a bulb or something or like this might also work this one's quite nice see i like it again it's too big i always end up making them too, like smaller i like that more okay let's go with that then i've got to work out what the heck I'm gonna fit in this space. It's such an awful space. I guess that you'd more just use it for storage, wouldn't you? Because it's really unlikely you're going to want to like sit in this little random corridor. What if we just put like a small bit of storage in there? There we go. So I've just put like a little couple of little plants on it and I think that looked pretty good. So I think I'm gonna leave it that for now because that hallway is already like really tight. Then I'm gonna go onto the outside before we go upstairs. So for this outside part, I was kind of thinking this would be like a little patio and then we could put maybe some like, I don't know, like some plant pots or something down that end. Obviously I tried to keep it so that it was the like same three by three that we had in the last bit as well. So I'm going to use the same wooden flooring that we used for the front patio and I'm probably going to use the same wood as well actually because it's good for like colour matching. I do think I am going to end up just making that grass down there but I wanted the section off just so that I had that three by three section. Then I was thinking about making this bit a little bit more private so we could add this maybe. don't know how I feel about that colour. I think it'd be better being a bit lighter. Yeah this one's better. So I'm going to use this just to give you a bit of privacy and then as you step down maybe it goes into like a little hedge or something could be quite cute something like this yeah that looks better so i'm gonna do that remove that bottom part altogether so that it just be grass then i think i want to add in just some little planters and maybe some bushes or something we obviously don't have a massive amount of space and some of these take up a lot of room like this will take up almost the entire thing so i think we're gonna have to use the little ones i'm gonna add like one two three yeah that looks pretty good and then i'm gonna add in maybe some like flowers or something behind it. There you go. So I just added in some little flowers. I'm going to fix up the terrain as well, just so that we've got like that little bit of dirt underneath each one. So it looks a little bit more realistic. Then up this side, I think I'm just literally going to add in like a couple of chairs and a little table. Ooh, these are quite good. I like these. So I'm going to add a little one here and another little one on this side. And then I'm just going to grab a little table and put that there. Tempted to use this small one, but I think it might look better being a bit bigger. Oh, we got this one, which is definitely more gardeny so that one might work better none of the colors really go I'm gonna go with this one because i think it matches the chairs a little bit better then i think as well i'm just gonna add a couple of little lights outside at the front this little like back door here Ooh, these ones are cute i like these so i'm gonna add two of these here so that you can actually see when you're outside i'm kind of tempted to put in this little vent as well even though it's not like in a greenhouse or anything but i just think it looks kind of more realistic that you might have a vent there even though it literally leads to just some stairs on the other side put it here which means that you do actually get the vent going into that room but I think I prefer it just to not exist and it does it is like hidden when you put it there so yeah that looks perfect cool then let's move on to our upstairs I was trying to make the outside garden just like a little bit more usable than just sort of like pretty so I think for our little door leading to the outside I'll just choose something simple something like this would probably work quite well especially if I picked a lighter one I guess we're going with darker colors apart though so this one kind of goes so I think I'm going to start with our little sort of master bedroom because it 
that will kind of like give us the most amount of things to do in two little areas and I'm quite excited about trying to work out what I'm going to do in a separate little room. But if it's going to be a master bedroom, surely you would have a double bed. So I might try and work out putting a double bed in it. I can probably do it if I did this here, then moved this all the way across here. I can put a double bed here, which is technically usable. You just have to get your sim to budge up. Another alternative is that we move it like this, which might make the doors look a little bit nicer. Yeah, I'm going to do it that way because that gives us more space here. And it's a good thing that that other room exists because at the minute you actually don't have any windows in that bedroom which is like not that great so master bedroom i'm gonna try and stick with our color palette that we've gone with the rest of the house something like this that's really nice I might go with that here. Then what I was thinking is that you could put something like um, cabinets and stuff around here and then a little TV right at the end. I might have to raise up all of this to be fair so that it's like this level. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult. That hasn't affected the outside of the house too much, has it? I mean, it looks a lot taller, but it's not too bad. Tell you what, I'll try do it with it being shorter first and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, what I was thinking was if we get a TV, we could put that. I like this one that you then make smaller because it doesn't stick out at all and we could just have that directly at the end of the bed then have little like cabinets going all the way across the top this room is quite calm so i think a nice like calming picture would probably be better and obviously it is the master bedroom as well so i wanted to have like a little bit be a bit like not childish these are quite good i really like these pictures something like this i'm just worried these things some sometimes look a bit too much like they're from a hotel this one's quite nice though it's got the yellows in it as well okay i think i'm gonna go with that and then i'm gonna leave it for that room we do need to work out the flooring does it look too childish to use that flooring that's from the like the pasta pop set that's just like fluffy rug or like fluffy carpet if i just did it in white oh, it looks okay and it looks like cozy i'm gonna do it in this room as well so we've got it because it just like use on i might also just choose these same walls as well so that it does feel like it's a bit more like it's not like two separate rooms you can use both this room's way lighter than the other one i wonder if we can just do that a little bit yeah we can okay so then for this one i had an idea that i was going to put mirrors all the way across here and then we could put the wardrobe here then maybe a little seat in the this corner this upstairs part is definitely more like modern than the last than the rest of the house but i think you tend to like make your bedroom look a little bit more clean and modern then we need a big wardrobe for that side Ooh, this one's really cool that one's definitely modern though i wonder if we can take it back a bit and do something less modern like this or what else have we got that's like i really like this one this one's really nice because you can see all the clothes in it it's still kind of modern but it's also quite basic it's more like sort of scandy design i'm gonna go with that one because i think that one looks kind of cool and it gives me enough space to be able to plant there you'll know that i absolutely love adding plants into my build gonna go with this little guy then over here i wanted to just put like a little seat so that you could sit down while you were like getting changed up with your shoes on and things like that so i want it to be quite a simple one this kind of goes with the sort of style that we've got going so i think we go with that one then the only other thing i can think is we have this outside section which i'm kind of tempted to just put like some plants and stuff because you can't put a seat there because it's way too small so like some outdoor plants would be preferable so things like this maybe that one there and if i can get a taller plant for this side that would be good i think like this maybe yeah that works i'll go with that one so yeah that's quite nice just so you can get a little bit of like fresh air i guess then if we go over here this is the one i wanted to be the bathroom so what i think i'm gonna do is i'll put the toilet here actually no i'll put the sink there we'll do we'll start with the sink and i want to pick something that doesn't feel like super modern this one's quite nice what else might work this one's quite rustic actually i quite like this one actually. i'm gonna go with this one I'm going to put it here just so that we can put a little bin next to it and then I can add in a mirror which again I would rather go with something that's a little bit more rustic that is massive Um, what would work a little one like this maybe that's quite cute actually is it? so for our little toilet I'd like something like this where it's got the brown toilet lid and then I can go for a like little shower type thing on the other side now it's just time to get what kind of shower slash bath I actually want to go with this one's amazing but it's not a shower as well, which sucks. I mean, no, this is kind of cool. And that is definitely like an older design. I like that a lot more as well, like a transparent curtain. Then for the floor, I'm probably like just going to go with a similar one that we've gone with in the other build or like the slightly darker brown that we have like downstairs. I think that looks a little bit better. Then obviously we've got our decorations. So we've got like the little accent things that you can put around. We've got the little toilet roll. I might also put a little plant on top of that toilet just right at the back like there. I do kind of want to include like some robes or something as well. Then I think we could do a little throw and do 
the same colour robe that we have for like the colours downstairs. So we've got obviously greens and then like kind of yellowy colour so that it ties in a little bit better. I might also put something up just behind this toilet here because there's quite a few little bits that look really good back there. Like we've got this thing, which I think looks really nice. I'm gonna add that in. It just does, it adds a little bit of clutter, but I think it looks like quite nice. Also, we've managed to put the window perfectly where you don't really see you as you're getting out of the bath, but you only see yourself at the sink. I think it needs like a little bath mat as well. I'm trying to think about what kind of thing would work. Even just like a simple brown one might work too big. I'm gonna go with this one because I think it looks a little bit more rustic. Okay, then I'm pretty happy with that. I don't really think there's a lot else that I actually want to include. Okay, then we've got our last two remaining bedrooms. So I want to go with a kid's room for one and then probably like a teenager kind of style room for the other. Let's start by picking colours, I guess. I'm going to use the soft flooring again. I really like this orange flooring. So I think we're going to go with that. Then do you have any cute wallpaper? Again, probably from the pastel set. Oh, it's very bright. The problem is it doesn't go with the kind of aesthetic the rest of the like house has. But this might be quite cute if I got it in a different colour. It works kind of well in that creamy colour, actually. Or we could do it in white. I don't think it works in white, though. I'll do it in this one. Then I definitely want some curtains. This is quite a nice curtain because it's see-through, so it kind of looks like really summery. I'm going to go with this one because it's got like tinged orange on it, so it matches the rest of the room. Then I'm going to have the same problem with window again because of this horrible thing, but I don't really like putting win like curtains on windows that are rounded anyway. Then I'm going to use like... Um, actually, mm, I could use the like tiny living pictures. Those are really cute these ones but they've got like blues in them i can change it so we've got like this this one this one works quite well i think it might look better a little bit smaller though pop that there then if we go round we've got all of these walls well so i could go through and pick some other pictures for these walls i don't think they're the most like childy pictures but i think that they look cute don't know if it works as well on those other walls though i think it works quite well on that one then over here i was thinking this is where we could have the little like kids bed i don't think we've got enough space really to put a toddler bed in there so i think i'm going to do an infant bed especially as we can get this which is like perfect color then i'm thinking about doing that thing that i was gonna do in the other bedroom here you go this thing because i think this would be really cute i might have to make it smaller though there you go can we just put that there i don't know if there's like oh there is colors pink one's quite nice oh that one's got flowers in it okay i'm gonna go with that one because it's the same color palette for the room as well it actually produces enough light that we don't need another light in there as well and it's like a nice warm light which is really good now i'm also going to put a tiny teddy bear inside of the crib it's literally there because i think that looks really cute then storage wise i guess like over here you could have a little seat and then i might do some little storage on the other side there so i'm gonna put a little bare seat right in the corner here then we can put in some little books as well just directly underneath the picture then i think just literally like a little i don't know bookcase could be good we've just done a bookcase so i guess a bookcase is kind of pointless but maybe just a surf with a bunch of kids stuff on it oh this is really cute as well i might go with this actually it's got a little plant on it and then right on top we can put like a little box or something oh we've got this little thing of kids toys as well this is so cute put this in like the corner over here then i was thinking like one of these things probably like this just literally on top there then i think that's kind of it there isn't really like a lot else that i really want to include in that room so let's move on to our last room which is this little room here and then i'm gonna do bunk beds in this room i think i'm just gonna do one bunk bed though which one's probably the best one to go for maybe like this one so it matches the other bed or we've got like this one which is really cute and this one's got a desk under it but the desk only worked for some reason if you put the the ladder on the other side there you go I, like flipped around i think color could be a little bit better though closer to like the rest of the house so like that then make this into a little green one there we go that looks better then um i'm thinking to be fair you could just do the same walls but i think we could probably do better than just repeating or what about the walls that we use downstairs for the living room those are quite nice they are nice but they're very bright or these ones those are quite nice and we do have white already in the actual like cushion bit there then i do want to pick the fluffy carpet again because i absolutely love the fluffy carpet and obviously i could do it in green but it's absolutely horrible in green so i think i'm just gonna do it in white again having white fluffy carpet like that would be an absolute nightmare but fine because it's not real then i'm thinking we have maybe a bookcase here and then a like actual wardrobe thing on that side so i quite like this i think this kind of matches the sort of color scheme that we've got going except for the 
yellow, so the yellow's not that great. You can get them plain though, or dark. Dark works better. So I'm going to go with that. Then on this side, we will need a wardrobe as well so that they can get changed. Ooh, alternatively, forget about the bookshelf. Change the door so that it's on this side and make it like darker, I think. Actually, let's, let's pull it all the way over here because we've already got the little like seating area there. And then what I'm going to do instead is actually make it so that it's got hanging up clothes instead. So I was thinking like something like this or this would work. This one's quite cute. I'm going to go with that one and then any chance it's got it in a green shade. It does. It's got pink in it. That one's better. Then I can just attach on some clothes there. Perfect. Okay. And then obviously that gives us a little bit more space as well to put some more stuff there. So I'm thinking like obviously plants. Could as well put a little alarm clock. Ooh, I could put a big mirror on this wall as well. That'd be really good. Something like a little bit more plain might be better though like this. Then probably put like a little box right in the bottom wall. A very small area to actually put anything into it. Put some books there. There we go. Then on the other side, obviously we've got to do our desk as well. So the desk is one of the ones that has extra storage at the top, but there's not really a massive amount that I can actually put on that top. Just like some more book something, but I think there's already books there. I'm going to put a little plant on the table too. That is not a little plant. There we go, little plant. And then I'm going to put some stationery, or like I guess put some like little bits of make as well there. Let's go on that to pop. No. Hey, here you go. And then just like a little pen pop. Then obviously we've got like some study stuff here. I might actually swap those around. And then I was thinking about putting a little laptop there. Ooh, or we could do the thing from the cute set, which is like a iPad. Yeah, that looks cute. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go with that. And then maybe like a little lamp in the back as well. Or we could put a candle. Ooh, a candle is better. It's like way warmer lighting. That's cute. I want this desk. Okay, there we go. So that's everything we've got now. I don't know whether I want to... I could actually even put it near the back. It looks a bit cluttered. Okay, I made the book slightly smaller, but now I feel like this bit's a bit empty. There you go. I just put a couple more books there. Might like rotate them a little bit so they're a bit more skew. Then is that it? I might change the light in there. Um, What kind of light would work well? These are quite cool because they're the same colours and it would make them slightly smaller. And then put them like here. Yeah, that works well. Cool. And then I think that's everything. And there is our entire house complete where each room is only three by three. This was definitely quite difficult. I think some of my favourite rooms though were definitely the kitchen. I'm also like weirdly obsessed with the little laundry room. I think that that looks really cool. The toddler's room also looks absolutely adorable and I really like the master bedroom. The fact that it's got a little walk-in like changing area that also comes along with a little balcony. I like the overall look of the house and I'm really happy that all of the colour palettes pulled together to make it look really cool. It's definitely made me think more about doing sort of an overall house colour palette as I think that tends to come out quite well. I think one of the hardest rooms to do was actually the stairs trying to get the stairs to go up in a 3x3 three three room. To be honest it might have been easier for me to just do it at the bottom of a hallway and not include it in a 3x3 three three room. I was hoping that I'd be able to decorate it a bit more but it's fine. I've uploaded this house onto the gallery under 3x3 three three house so if you'd like to download it feel free to underneath my account of Hextra Hunt as well. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I post long videos every Friday and Wednesday at PM and I try to post shorts daily. On the screen is a recommended video so if you enjoyed this one please do check that one out too and I hope you all have a great evening.